Good morning, everyone, and welcome. I'm going to be doing a remote sermon again today. So you're getting two in a row. You're getting this one from the labyrinth at Laferay. Those of you who haven't been here, it's a beautiful place. A place I come and walk a lot when I'm down here. Um, I really like Laferay, and I love the labyrinth. I haven't been get to, gotten to do it as much this week while I've been on retreat because I've been doing a lot of reading and writing and working on other stuff, but it's all good. Today's scripture, Mark 12, 38 through, 28 through 34. Of all the commandments, which is the most important? I could ask everybody that question and I might get similar answers. I might get different answers from everyone. But I think what mostly comes out is that we agree with what the scripture says. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. And the second commandment is love your neighbor as yourself. I want to talk a little bit about that one. I've been in retreat all week. Uh, it'll be two weeks by the time you see this. But one of the things that we were kind of looking at and contemplating is ourselves. Writing our stories and rewriting our stories. And in order to write our stories, we had to know ourselves. We had to love ourselves. Love your neighbor as yourself. You know, it's so hard for very many of us to love ourselves. We're not taught to love ourselves. We are taught to love others. We are taught to embrace others. But to love ourselves, sometimes it's more difficult. When we, when I look at loving myself, I have to look at not only those good things about me, but also those warts and moles and dark patches that also make up me, that also make up you. So being reflective of ourselves is important. We can't truly love others, I think, until we can embrace and love ourselves. You know, we have to love the Lord our God with all our heart and all our soul and all our mind and all of our strength. That's a tough one too. What is our strength? Our strengths are all different. Some people are great writers. Some people are really good orators. Some of us are not so good at anything or think we're not. That goes back again to the love yourself. How do you love yourself? What's the ways in which you can love yourself? One of the things that my group talked about today, the end day of our conference, was how we can stay connected. What way can we commit to being with each other in the future? Part of that is being loving to ourselves and being loving to our group, but also being loving to God. And I'm going to throw in a little bit of a stewardship moment because loving God for each and every one of us is different. But we are all in this as a community of St. Paul's UCC in Laramie, Wyoming. And while I often talk about stewardship and commitment to St. Paul's, I don't always talk about money. I talk about time and talents and your giving to each other because that is what stewardship in the church is. Stewardship is to me, not just in the church. We are a community brought together by our common faith and beliefs, but we stay community because we create friendships. We create love for one another. And we create love for God, 
for the church, for our conference. You know, I do a lot of work, not only for St. Paul's, but for the conference, for our association. And that's going to culminate in an association meeting that will take place tomorrow morning, but for you will have already happened. And I have some nervousness around that meeting tomorrow. As I always have nervousness around being in front of people. Um, even Sunday mornings. But that's trusting for me, trusting in God, that God is going to help me to be what I need to be, when I need to be it. So loving God and my neighbor and myself are so very important. But I think probably out of all of those, you know, we love God. We know that from an early age. We are taught that. I think all of us do that. And we love our neighbor. We're all thrown into this last couple of years, almost couple of years now, where we cared for our neighbors. We've con been concerned for them, for their health, for COVID reasons. But as this has continued, I've become concerned for people about their mental health, isolation. And those things are loving my neighbor. And I think that we all love our neighbors. But what's really hard and what really I had to concentrate this week on my conference was the loving myself part. Because you don't often get time to do as I spent this week, up in a cabin in, at La Fere by myself, no one else around. I did go out on Thursday and get a meal. Um, but other than that, I stayed in the cabin, well, other than walking around. But it was alone time, something I'm, I don't know. I, I thought about it this morning. Am I good at being alone? Am I good at being with myself? The answer is this week I was. I didn't have TV. I had cable. I mean, didn't have cable, but I had internet. But I didn't use the internet to watch TV in the evenings. I watched some, I actually didn't watch much. I actually read a lot. Um, and not so much on the internet. I had a couple of books to read and I read them. Um, one on disability ministries, which is the conference that I'm going to next week, um, which you'll see this sermon right after that. Um, which is why I'm delivering the sermons the next couple of weeks remotely. Or I guess not remotely, but pre-recorded. You know, it's tough for me to say, love your neighbor as yourself and everything will be fine. Because we know that that's not the case. Look at what's happening in our world. All of the very many Afghani refugees. And those that can't be refugees but should be or need to be for their health, for their security. Look at the women in Afghanistan who are being threatened. Those are the kind of people that we are used to helping, that we are used to loving, that we are used to doing for. And at this time, I'm feeling really like I don't know what to do, how to help those people. I love them, they're my neighbors. But figuring out concrete ways in which to love them is difficult. And you know, we are blessed at St. Paul's. We are able to help most people, most, most um, situations with the ability to give some money to them. That money comes from money that you give to the church. It comes from time and talents that you give to the church. You know, I asked a few weeks ago for some Sunday morning angels and we had an outpouring I think, of people that wanted to help. And that is loving your neighbor as well. The things that we do for each other, that's loving our neighbors. The things we do for ourselves, that's often more difficult. You know, I know some of you 
take lots of trips, and that's your way of taking care of you, of loving you. I wish I could do that, and I, and I do go a lot of places, but I haven't been on long trips. I've been to see friends the last couple of years because COVID has made me feel very isolated. At times, I feel like I don't get the core of what I want to get done done, and that's because of COVID. It's because of the isolation. You know, um, in a couple of weeks, there's a homecoming parade, and um, actually it's next week. It was last week. <laughs> I'm getting confused now. But being in the homecoming parade with the Ministerial Association, that's one way of loving our neighbors as well. And it's showing love for St. Paul's because it gets the word out that we are there. We are a progressive church. We are people who care for others. And we're not afraid to show that. So, I'm going to leave you with this. Take time to love the Lord with all your heart, all your understanding, all your strength. And to love your neighbor as yourself is more important, perhaps, in your world in this time. Because we have to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. But we need to start with loving ourselves. One way that you can do that is take some time to do an inventory of things that you like. Things that you haven't been able to do. Things that you want to do. And maybe there's a way you can do some of them. Maybe there's just a way that you can daydream about those. And that's good, too. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. So I'm going to invite each and every one of you right now to go ahead and take your arms and put them around yourself and give yourself a hug. And remember to love yourself, to be fair with yourself, and to take time to not only love your God and your neighbor, but enjoy the world as you love yourself. Amen. God bless, and I will see you in person next week.